Hi, Professor Stefera here. This screencast will describe the cell organelle called the lysosome. Lysosomes are membrane-bound vesicles produced by the endomembrane system. They contain a variety of enzymes used in three basic ways. First, they're going to break down foreign cells or particles brought into the cell. Second, they're going to break down damaged cell organelles. And third, they're going to break down large macromolecules. In each case, the products of the lysosome digestion will recycle these molecules and allow them to be used by the cell to rebuild other cell parts, produce energy, and other structures. Let's take a look at the animation about lysosomes. Lysosomes are membrane-bound vesicles that contain hydrolytic enzymes. The hydrolytic enzymes degrade proteins, nucleic acids, lipids, and carbohydrates and are formed in the endoplasmic reticulum. These enzymes are then transported to the Golgi apparatus by transport vesicles. The lysosomes arise from the Golgi apparatus. When particles such as viruses or bacteria are ingested by phagocytosis, the lysosome fuses with the particle-containing vesicle, called a phagosome, and delivers the hydrolytic enzymes. Lysosomes also fuse with organelles such as old mitochondria. This results in the destruction and recycling of these structures. Let's take a look at lysosome storage diseases. These are genetic diseases. They are the result of enzyme malfunction or deficiencies that prevent the normal breakdown of macromolecules in the lysosome. Thus, undegraded macromolecules build up in the lysosome and in the cell, disrupting normal cell functions. Lysosome storage diseases are multi-system diseases. In individuals, they can lead to brain, renal, musculoskeletal, respiratory, and vision problems. Tay-Sachs is an example of a lysosome storage disease. Okay, see you next time.